take it all back. Because you know Several months ago, Arizona T decided to do a promotion for their 30th anniversary. Hard to believe Arizona T has been around for 30 years, but yeah, I'm just thinking about it. Yeah, it's probably been about that long, but they decided to do a uh, flavor thing where it's like, you get to pick your own flavor, you mix and match, and you get to help make the can design I entered. Uh, mine was a blood orange and chocolate with a black tea base. Very, would have been very interesting. Didn't win. I'm kind of just a little salty about it. But there were some fun uh, stuff that did come out of it, and three flavors did win. Uh, but you could get that three pack for a short time on their website. Do you really want to do you really want to taste it? Hey everyone, welcome back to the episode of Fast Talk, the fast food you show where I talk about fast food, talking faster about it. And let's go and take a look at one of these, one of these three winning flavors with their extra sweet tropical juiced cocktail. Very interesting flavor. Very, it's perfect for the summer. Really, uh, was really intrigued by it. This isn't one of the only flavors. There was also a uh, blue mohi, mohi tea. There's a there's a better look at it. Better a blue mohi tea. Very interesting. Can't wait to try that one. Uh, and a mango dragon green tea with lemonade, which is also very interesting. Nice variation between all of these. Intriguing. But the most intriguing was this, like, a, a tropical flavor. Again, perfect for the summer and a good contender to win. So, I can really smell that juice cocktail. It kind of reminds me of, um, if you get, like, the cans of, like, the fruit cocktail, like, a, like the tropical one, it's kind of got that. I've thought of making a video about, uh, um, like, the different... Bomb pop flavors like ranked. I think it's gonna end up on that list. Honestly, like it fits that. Honestly, it's really good. I wouldn't say it's bomb pop per se, but it kind of has. It kind of does have like that cherry in there. Like it's it's very like it's it's very much that cherry, like a cherry tea. It's it's good. That's really good. I like this a lot. That's that's really good. Um, here's a better look at the can design as I showed off the other ones. This one, these all got dinged up a little bit uh, in transit, which sucks. But there's also a good look at the ingredients list. Very, uh, oh, there it is. It's like very small, but no, it's on, the, it's on the side there. So I'll remember that for next time. But there it is. Also, it's got 10% juice. And I can really taste it in there. Do the rest of these have 10%? That's eight. And yeah, it's four. Huh. That one has that that one's actually really good. Uh, overall, really like one. I'm not a big fan of canned teas. Uh, even the liquid death teas I, I kind of have a problem with to, to a degree. I do like them, but still. That's not bad. There's, a, there's just a lot of good flavor. Like it's a good eight and a half out of ten. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed that review. Um, to recommend, I'm going to recommend Company Man's video on just Arizona Swedish Industries because I haven't seen anyone take a look at these teas yet. The endorsement did an unboxing video, and if I do find one, I will switch out this outro with that. So, again, Company Man did a whole video on Arizona tea. So, go check it out. Link down below with all my socials Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and FT underscore Fast Talk for your reviews. Uh, you can also go to W Energy and get Tim's off your first order, first order check. It's called Fast Talk. That's Fast Talk. Check out at WEnergy.com. Guys, have a good rest of your day. Stay bearded, stay faithful. Peace. Just keep this one around. Just make, just make it a quick one. Gotta go hit that ride to the setting sun.